What up, your top? If you guys can see, I'm the creepy construction worker. <laughs> And as a matter of fact, that was my last year's costume. I'm not gonna burn out this year's costume before time. For a lot of people, Halloween means candy, sweet gourmands, sweet fragrances. For me, the total opposite. I personally prefer gothic, dark, incense, uh, tobacco, in-your-face type of fragrances. That's what resembles Halloween in my opinion. But I also think you always have to make your Halloween custom suit your fragrance. For example, if you're wearing something fun, you probably should wear a fun, sweet, light, likable fragrance. If you're wearing something gothic or scary or like a zombie or something, you probably should pick up one of those unwearable fragrances that you don't really get to wear all year long. And I have a few of those fragrances that I personally would love to wear them, but I don't have occasions for that. And I wait for Halloween just to get to wear as much as I can of them. And for this year's uh, five picks, I was in the gothic side. With that being said, let's just move on to uh, my five picks for Halloween this year. Number five on my list, it's a fragrance I recently got, but I didn't really get to wear as much because it's kind of a heavy hitter and uh, it has been like really hot uh, ever since I uh, got this fragrance like I, I, I guess like a couple of months back but uh, I personally love it I think it's great and I think Halloween would be a perfect fit for it why because this fragrance not for everybody it's kind of weird it's just, it's on its own way and um, but I, I think it's great it's very oody very dark uh, in your face oud, but very sweet, syrupy sweet in the same time because of the uh, fruit aspect into it. I uh, I think it just would fit perfectly both worlds and Halloween, candy, sweetness and gothic horror scary stuff with the oud and that fragrance would be uh, Paris Monte Carlo Bois d'Oud. My number four spot is a fragrance I really enjoy and really love and uh, I think that would fit Halloween spirit to the maximum. Why? Because it's so dark, so spicy, so incense in your face, loud and it would get you noticed. So if you're wearing something scary, I think uh, L'Air du Désert Marocain would uh, fit that criteria perfectly. Why? Because it just scream dark <laughs> for some reason. In my humble opinion, uh, that's why uh, L'Air du Désert Marocain by uh, Andy Tower would uh, take my number four spot. My number three spot, it's my Beast Mode Incense and Resin Fragrance. A pop and axe, uh, tons of resins and incense and all in your face if you just get like a couple of sprays uh, you people would smell you from Europe if you're like somewhere else interlude man it's my number three spot for a reason guys it is one of the perfect Halloween scents and it just super dark super gothic and it would scream loud and it would get you noticed if you want that so I really really highly recommend interlude man for Halloween my number two spot is a fragrance I personally adore. It's one of my top 10 fragrances of all time. But unfortunately, it's not very wearable. I don't get the chance to wear it as much as I would love to because how loud and how weird and how crazy it is sometimes. But uh, as I said before, this fragrance is one of my... Uh, <laughs> beast mode fragrances that I don't really need much of it at all like two sprays and I'm more way more than done I highly recommend this fragrance at least to sniff it once in your life and just to give it a chance because a lot of people really not into this type of fragrances and they think it's just a little bit too much but for me it just heaven and um, it was always my number one Halloween fragrances for the past I would say like two three years if I'm not mistaken 
Uh, I wore it as a matter of fact for last year's Halloween in another party not on Halloween night uh, because it, there's no way Halloween passes by w without wearing black Afghano by Nasumaro because it scream and shout Halloween it is the perfect Halloween scent in my humble opinion for too many years and I thought I would be wearing um, black Afghano again on Halloween but uh, it's I just got a recent acquisition and uh, probably that one I would uh, try it on Halloween this year so I'm not really sure yet which fragrance I would choose for Halloween this year but uh, black Afghano it's always one of the highest contender my number one fragrance that I would probably be wearing this Halloween night this year 2014 it's the holy grail one of the darkest uh, more, more powerful more expensive fragrances that I ever encountered but it's awesome it's not very wearable and uh, a lot of people really dislike it but as a matter of fact I only wore it once and I got a couple of compliments on it so probably just I don't know guys but I, I personally think it's not very wearable but I personally adore it and uh, that fragrance would be a uh, 777 uh, Stefan Humbert Lucas black gemstone this one for some reason I smell tobacco and leather and uh, resins and and uh, this 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 and that and doesn't have tobacco or leather for some reason but uh, I don't know but it's got this really burned tobacco-y type of thing that's what I pick up out of it and I just it's really uh, rich and leathery and it's got that teak wood uh, note I'm not familiar with teak wood to be honest with you guys but probably that's what gives it that leathery feel that leathery type but that's what I picked up. It just smells like leather and tobacco and resin. And that's probably that. what am I going to be wearing Halloween this year. And uh, so this is pretty much it, guys. This is my uh, top five Halloween fragrances for 2014. I hope you guys like my uh, picks. Uh, and uh, if you do, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe and give me thumbs up. And tell me what probably would you be wearing this Halloween season or Halloween night in, to be specific. So uh, thank you guys for watching and peace!